Hi booktube friends, what's up? My name is Juan, I'm just one reader, and I'm so excited to tell you about my trip to Los Angeles. I flew in last night from Los Angeles, and so I could not wait one second longer to make this video. I loved going to LA, it's a wonderful city. I love, um, I loved seeing all the movie sets and uh, you know, doing the, the studio tours and all that. I also got a chance to go to Universal Studios and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I also went to Disneyland and spent Christmas there and uh, it was just so much fun and book-wise it was also a great experience. Not only did I go to Barnes & Noble and your typical bookstores, but I also got a chance to visit the last bookstore which is probably LA's biggest independent bookstore. It's great. Uh, I loved it. It's kind of a landmark. It's it's really, really pretty place. Um, so before I get on with the book haul and show you all the books that I got in LA, I do have some footage that I want to show you. Um, this is uh, random mixed footage from my trip. Uh, it's a little bit messy. I just kind of filmed it uh, as I went uh, and so uh, just bear with me if the footage is really crappy. I did my best. So uh, let's watch the footage. <laughs> Look guys, these are all magic wands. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, you guys. This whole place is so beautiful. I literally want to burst into tears. And just when you think it couldn't get better, wait, what is that? Oh my god, it's three floors of books. You guys, I was supposed to be here on a budget. Three floors of books though. I don't think I can resist myself. Guys, I am loving this place like you don't believe it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a bunch of books and I'm gonna have such a big book haul to show you guys. I'm so excited. So most of the books that I'm gonna show you guys right now, I got them from the big Barnes & Noble that I showed you in the video. That Barnes & Noble was freaking amazing. It was three floors of books and that whole place, it's called the Americana and Brand. It's uh, so beautiful. So if you are in LA or if, you, or if you are visiting LA, you cannot miss going to the Americana at Brand and you have to visit that Barnes & Noble. So uh, I got most of my books of this book haul from that place. However, I did get about six or seven from the last bookstore in LA, which is this big independent bookstore. Unfortunately, I could not get footage from that place because I was there for about 30, 45 minutes and I could not film and shop at the same time. It, the place was crowded, it was crazy. So unfortunately, I don't have the footage, but the place is great. You can go and check out some pictures of the place. It's really, really, really cool. Um, so, uh, okay, let's get on with the book haul. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven short story collections. I have two children's picture books. I have 12 uh, novels, uh, like regular fiction, I guess. And I've got about four non-fictions, which is rare because I don't usually buy non-fiction at all, but I'm really excited for this particular batch of non-fiction. So I'm gonna start with the short story collections. You guys know that reading short stories is kind of my huge, most important New Year's resolution. So uh, the first one is Lovely Dark Deep by Joyce Carol Oates. I don't really know what else, what to expect from this one, but it's Joyce Carol Oates. I figured it's about time I got I got around to reading some of her work, so I just picked this one up. Then I've also got Raymond Carver's Cathedral. 
uh, I saw, I researched some of the uh, reviews of his work and this is the one that appealed to me the most. Okay, this one is The Paper Menagerie by Ken Liu. I was not originally intending to pick this one up, but then the Poptimist posted a comment in one of my videos and he told me that this was great and that I should read it. So I paid more attention to it, I read more carefully into it, and yeah, I'm really glad that I picked it up because it seems amazing and it seems like something I'm really going to enjoy. Then I was lucky enough to get some Alice Smith. It's really hard to find Alice Smith's work in the US. I, I've always looked for her and not always have I found uh, all her work, but I, I was lucky enough to get two or three. The first one is uh, Public Library and Other Stories. Uh, then I got this baby. This is the Best American Short Stories, the 2014 edition, edited by Jennifer Egan. And I think this one is the one I'm going to read first. <coughs> I got this one, which I had never really heard of. This is Heartbreaker, stories by Maurice Meyer. Meyer. And uh, this one was actually a uh, staff pick at the last bookstore and it had really great comments from the staff member that uh, picked this one out. So yeah, it sounds like uh, violent and weird and uh, yeah, it just says it's uh, unmasking the fury and violence we are willing to inflict in the name of love and loneliness. So yes. And the last sh short story collection I have is this beautiful anthology called New American Stories. This is edited by Ben Marcus, and it features some authors that I know, such as Kelly Link or uh, uh, Zadie Smith, uh, Rebecca Lee, George Saunders, and there's a bunch in here that I haven't read before, so that's why I'm acquiring this beautiful big anthologies because I want to read many more short stories than I have and I want to read more variety. Okay, now the two children's picture books that I got are, uh, this one is The Very Persistent Gappers of Fripp by George Saunders. This is a very rare book. It's very difficult to find. And I got it at the last bookstore. It was like $3. It was a complete steal. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit torn and tattered, but I don't care. It's amazing. And George Saunders was my favorite author from 2016. So everything that he has laid his hands on and has published, I will get. And then the other one, I got it at Disneyland, and uh, this is The Nightmare Before Christmas by Tim Burton. Obviously, it's really cool. I'm really looking forward to reading it out loud to my students, and yeah, it's lovely. Okay, now for the fiction or uh, the novels that I bought, and I know this is probably the most important part of this book haul because that's what people tend to read, and that's what uh, BookTube uh, centers mostly around. So uh, I'm, I have about 13 or 14 novels, so I'm just going to mention them. Uh, this one is A Constellation of Vital Phenomena by Anthony Mara. I was not really sure about this book because it it sounds a little bit historical and, uh, you know, I don't really know anything about Russia. So I felt like maybe I'm too ignorant to read this book. But then I saw Dan Martin Likes You uh, I saw his video on Anthony Mara, which is called an ode to Anthony Mara, and I just decided I need to read this author. I need to at least try it. Then I got Duplex by Katherine Davis, which sounds really weird and uh, wacky and strange, bizarre. This was recommended by uh, uh, Mercedes. Well, not recommended, but she talked about it and uh, like a book that she wanted to read and she wanted to pick it up. So of course I went and bought it. Now this one I got from Barnes & Noble and I didn't really have any recommendations about it, but it seems really cool and Neil Gaiman blurbed it. This is called The Language of Dying by Sarah Pimbro. And I think it's about this woman who is standing by her father's bedside as he dies. And so it's a very short novella about something weird that happens. Uh, then this one I was so looking forward to. 
and I finally got my copy. This is The Unseen World by Elise Moore. This has gotten a lot of attention lately on booktube, and I feel like this is going to be one of my favorite books of 2017. I just know it. Now, this one is a beautiful hardcover of The Cider House Rules by John Irving. This one, I it was incredibly cheap for what it is. It was about four or five dollars. It's in pretty good condition, uh, if somewhat tattered and uh, torn, but I don't really care about those things. Um, it's uh, John Irving is an author that I've been wanting to read forever, so now I've got this beautiful baby. Then I have another Alice Smith, and this is Hotel World, which is one of her novels, and this one was shortlisted for the Orange Prize for Fiction in 2001. Uh, this one is The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. This one was also pretty cheap. It was about $3. Now, this one I was so excited to get because I know this is Acacia's favorite book of 2016, and this is The Clay Girl by Rachel Tucker. I haven't really read the blurb or anything. I want to read it not knowing anything. And then I have The Road by Cormac McCarthy. They, they had a lot of McCarthy at the last bookstore. I even took a, a picture for Instagram and uh, I, I tagged Adam from Memento More because every time I hear or read anything about Cormac McCarthy, I immediately think of him. And so, yes, Adam, this year will be the year when I finally try some McCarthy. Then I got Revolutionary Road by Richard Yates, which is another book that I've seen get not a lot of attention, but the few people that talk about this book have made me so want to read it that I, when I saw this at Barnes & Noble, I actually cried. So, yeah. Then, okay. This is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. Uh, I haven't read Middlesex, but it is one of my... Uh, it's one of the books that are uh, very, very high in my TBR, and this one will come next. And then the last book in this section is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I actually have read this book. I read this book about two years ago, and... I liked it. I was not as in love with it as most people seem to be. Uh, I think it was mainly a translation issue because I read it in Spanish. So I decided to pick it up in English and give it a go because sometimes weird things happen when you read a book in uh, translation. Uh, it happened to me when I read I Capture the Castle, so I figured I need to try Donna Tart in its original uh in her original language. And then lastly, for the nonfiction section of this book haul, I have four nonfictions. I'm gonna mention them pretty uh, pretty quickly. The first one is a memoir, and this is A Life in Parts by Brian, uh, Brian Cranston. I am currently watching Breaking Bad. I had never watched Breaking Bad ever, and I'm just watching the fourth season, and I'm obviously obsessed with it. And uh, yeah, I saw this. It's really cool. I think Brian Cranston is a master of what he does, and this memoir seems pretty interesting. Then I have Freud. Uh, this one is uh, a book about Freud, Great Thinkers on Modern Life by Brett Carr. And then the last two books are quite similar. These are books on reading. I've wanted to read more critically and think a lot more critically about the books that I read. I think that was my biggest achievement of 2016, to start thinking more critically about every single sentence that I read in a book. So this one is How to Read a Book, uh, The Classic Guide to Intelligent Reading by Mortimer J. Adler and Charles Van Dorn. And yeah, I really want to read more strategies on how to read better and the other one is how to read like a literature pro how to read literature like a professor a lively and entertaining guide to reading between the lines and this is by thomas c foster and i saw that dalton dalton from stripped coverlet was reading this and enjoying it so yeah
Guys, thank you very much for watching. This video is already way too long, so I'm going to wrap it up right now. I hope you have a great 2017, and I'll see you next time.